Hello guys, uh, welcome to this session of uh, how to make a WordPress website. You know, this is not a usual stuff which I generally do, but uh, you know, I was just creating my own website. So I thought, you know, why not uh, share whatever I learned so far on creating a website with a larger audience. And uh, that is the reason, you know, I'm creating this uh, video. Hope this is useful. Now, a lot of people, uh, would be wondering why we, we need a website at all, right? So whatever I have experienced in last few years is uh, this is like your identity card, right? So earlier we used to have business cards which we used to exchange and then people used to carry that and they used to call us whenever they, they wanted to. Now in this digital world, it's very much essential that uh, we have a digital identity, a digital uh, postcode you can say you know how we have a postcode for our house it's a similar requirement right now in the digital world that at least we have some digital presence and that is where our own personal websites in my view play a critical role so that is the reason you know why I have got a new domain name uh, which is on my name that says uh, www.vivekmashrani.com and uh, I'll help you today to navigate uh, you know on how to make a wordpress website and most of us are not from a tech background i am myself a mechanical engineer and then i've done finance uh, and we generally are not that tech savvy but at least from my experience you know at least to create a basic version of a website which is not you know too much commercial it's just for our identity and contains some small stuff like a personal blog and a personal information it's pretty much uh, possible to create ourselves and I'll show you actually how to do that uh, within less than a 60 minutes actually. So you can at least go to a stage where uh, you reach a basic version of a website within 60 minutes, right? So let's get started. Yeah, so uh, there are uh, three components to making a WordPress website and why I'm recommending WordPress generally is because it's very easy to install. It has very good interface and then uh, you know it has a lot of uh, additional plugin libraries so you can basically do any kind of functionality by just adding a plugin it's a kind of any paid or unpaid add-ons that you can add you know even if you want to scale up your website you can pretty much do it yeah so that's that is the reason i generally prefer wordpress uh, website and i found a, a hosting uh, where you can directly you know build a wordpress website and that is what i'll uh, show you and i'll build my website to a basic extent with you so that you can take it to next level if you want to build a website all right so now there are basically three steps to making a wordpress website first you need to buy a hosting hosting is a place where all your data will sit then you need to buy a domain so as i mentioned vivekmashrani.com is a domain where uh, people it, it's like a basic address which will point out to your house right so it's like a pin code and then finally you just need to download a wordpress installation and then uh, choose a theme theme is nothing but how your uh, website looks like the basic layout of your website so these are just the three simple steps and your uh, website will be up and running so uh, let's get started with uh, first buying a uh, wordpress hosting so uh, this is a link uh, which uh, I have used to buy. So I just pasted this link below the video in the comment section. You can just click on it and you can follow along, right? And that I'll, I'll, I'll keep on showing uh, what steps to follow the next, right? So this will take me to the host getter WordPress hosting page. So once you reach this page, ideally you need to buy a starter pack and you can just select india over here basically it's a server so if you buy a us server probably it will be slightly so, uh, slower if your target audience is india uh, you should ideally prefer indian server that is how you will get a better speed now you can choose any plan over here you know if you have not made sure your mind probably you know one year plan is uh, sufficient for now and uh, press buy now so when you put a buy now you know there is this offer running i think right now which uh, gives 
some some discount this is a sunshine coupon which is there so it's fine whatever offer is running at your point of time it will automatically be applied now if if you want to purchase it for longer term you can do it from here as well but we are just sticking to a one year subscription right now and then next year you can renew this now once i do this you can just press uh, continue and then it will ask uh, for a sign in yeah so right now um, i i have account so it's showing me here but if you are making a new account you can just click on this create an account and then it will show you all the details you need to fill uh, name address country state city postal code and all sort of these things and once you do that uh, you will have a username and password which you have to fill and create your account yeah so i'll just leave it to you for creating the account you know and uh, and just go to the payment gateway once you do that the second step which is again very important is to buy your domain so uh, just pause the video right now and you can probably you know just finish your uh, buying of hosting and uh, once you do that you just come back to this and then i'll show you how to buy your domain yeah uh, so that you know we can uh, just build it along and uh, it's easier for you guys to follow along so i'm now assuming that you have done the payment and uh, bought the hosting the second step is buying a domain so here if you go to domains and then domain registration you will find a search button yeah so here you can type in the desired name so it's a desired address so say for example i want vivekmashrani.in so i'm searching and it says that this is available so again similar process i just need to add to cart and then uh, check out initially you know you have already bought this wordpress hosting you don't need this right now because you already done that transaction you can avoid even business email you know if it is just the starter because uh, along with your domain you will get two email ids uh, free so right now you don't need to buy it if in future if you require you can go ahead and uh, then just press checkout and a similar process you know right now i didn't go through this transaction so this is also showing along and if you are not yet bought the hosting you can do it both together as well and just press continue and all the similar steps right so you can just uh, create a new account if you have not done so far if you already bought you can just log in to your account now i am just logging into my account so that uh, it's very clear so this is where it goes to the payment page and uh, you can just pay and do it for me i have uh, bought it just yesterday and uh, that is the reason i am not doing the transaction again yeah now uh, now if you if you want to go ahead if you bought these two things then please proceed otherwise you can just pause the video and again you know finish the process uh, i'll now show you how to basically uh, link your domain and hosting uh, this is what i'm going to explain now now if you go to manage orders and then click on list search orders you will see both the things which you have bought so this is your domain which is for my case vivekmashrani.com and uh, this is your hosting where your actual website will get hosted i have bought it for two years i bought it just yesterday that is uh, 9th may and i bought it for two years so it is showing expiry as 2022 now to connect your domain with uh, this one just click on this uh, hosting link i'll go back again so that you can notice if you have noticed so you can just click on this wordpress host getter that is your hosting click on that click on manage service that is where it will actually ask me uh, to install the wordpress so wordpress is a very beautiful interface very easy to navigate kind of interface so it tells me to install i'll just click on install and uh, 
I'll just press uh, my domain which I bought. So Vivek, sorry, not Vivek dot Mashrani. It's Vivek Mashrani at uh, sorry dot com. Yeah, and uh, title I'll just write Vivek uh, Mashrani, and uh, maybe I'll just write my admin email is the same as my default email address. Yeah, so this is uh, basically vivekmashrani.com as my domain name which I bought and uh, my site title is uh, whatever you want to put it it could be your name or it could be your brand name and then I just uh, put in um, so now uh, this got installed and as you can see you know the site one of one the WordPress website is installed uh, my domain name is vivekmashrani.com and the status is active now I'm assuming right now you have installed the entire website if you haven't done just pause the video and let it install right so now uh, once you have installed the website you can click on this DNS I'll go back ag again so that you can notice so go to DNS and that is where you will find these two IDs ns1 wordpress and ns2 right so just copy this one and close this and now you need to go to your domain so i'm going back in the same process i'm going to domain my domain name clicking on vivekmashrani.com and uh, then putting the name servers and here I already put it but you might have a different name so you can just paste it here one and then second was NS2 which I have manually done it and I have just put in update minute, uh, name servers right just click on that once you have done that it will take 24 to 48 hours for your domain and hosting to link so if you are watching the video you can just pause it now or close the video come back tomorrow when your syncing is done and then start the next steps from the same place right now okay so now i'm assuming that you are coming on the second day once your domain and hosting is linked once uh, your hosting is linked what you need to do is uh, go to again manage services in your hosting right the same place where we went earlier and click on admin so I'll just go back again so go to manage services in the WordPress hosting so this is where you have to go WordPress hosting manage services and then go to admin so this is the WordPress admin page and this is where all the things you want to build on your website is possible to do so now I have opened up the admin page this is how the admin page looks like now first uh, thing you can do is uh, basically with this uh, hosting plan you get a jetpack free which is nothing but uh, it's a it's a pack or an add-in or a plugin which uh, helps you speed up your performance so this is anyways free so you can just uh, click on it and say uh, set up the jetpack and that is where you know it will just start loading it will take a while now it will ask yeah, so you can just choose uh, login with Google account and I have just chosen my default vivek.mashrani at gmail id and that is where it's uh, just connecting and that is where it will get set up okay so now uh, we are on the dashboard of uh, WordPress website yeah and if you want to see how currently it looks like you can just do visit site and uh, just click on a new tab this is how the basic version looks like right now yes now there are a couple of easy components so one you know to do a lot of uh, customization you can just click on customize your site and that is where it will show up a lot of menu right so right now there is a default theme 2020 which is installed what I can do is first thing I can just uh, change the theme so to change the theme 
I'll go to appearance and then themes and just click on themes. Yeah. So I'll just type add new theme and then click on astral. And this is where I can probably find. Yeah. So this is a good theme recommended by my mentor Sid and uh, I quite liked it. So I'll just go ahead with uh, this particular theme. It's just installing once uh, it's installed, it will be available to customize, right? So now this is installed and I just need to press activate. All right. And now this will be my default theme. Now to see what it looks like, I just refresh this and here you go. Right. So this theme is now applied. Right. So uh, this is now applied here. The second step uh, you can do is this. So we go to the dashboard again and now you can go to customize your site. And the beauty of uh, WordPress is it will show you both the things side by side, right? So this will show you side by side all the things which are there. And these edit buttons are like very easy. You can just click and you can edit. These are all additional widgets. Now the key thing to for you to sort out is menu, right? So first we need to just add a menu. So I can just create a menu from here and uh, just write a few things which I need, say home page, right? So home page is created. Now I can add items yeah, and so on and so forth. I can keep adding item. So I can add a new page. Yeah, so this home button is here. So same way you can keep adding uh, items and that is how your entire menu will start building yeah the second is uh, you know maybe you want to create some blog posts or all those kind of things so i'm just uh, type putting publish so that it's it's saved yeah and then i'll go back so other thing you can do is write your first blog post so you can go here and uh, start writing if you want to create a blog within this and these are uh, different uh, editors here so it will just explain what all you can do here but you can you know understand so i'll just write this is my first post so this is a blog which i'm writing and then this is this is for demo per of this website yeah and uh, you can basically do a lot of things over here you just keep exploring you can do a lot of uh, text customization uh, you know font customization and color customization your background color and uh, a lot of advanced stuff which is not required right now but yeah this is what you can do here you can uh, write tags you can create categories if you are writing on fundamental investing you can create a fundamental investing category you can tag here like value investing technical analysis all those tags and then if you want to put an image for your blog you can do it here and so on and so forth you know just just explore these guys i think it's pretty basic and you can also see a preview how it looks like when it's published so this is how it's looking like as of now yeah it's still in the infancy stage once you build on it i think uh, you'll get it better and now maybe you just uh, publish it right so i'll just publish this and it says ready visibility i can change it i can make it password protected and uh, if you want to do it at a future date you can do that over here i'm just right now publishing it so that we can and yeah, you can also change your link. So if you want to write a post on um, say first blog, so you can just change uh, your link also. So all those things you can do it later. Uh, you just keep exploring. I think that is how uh, you will learn. So once I've done that, I'll again go back to my WordPress uh, page. So here you can see all posts and future you can just add new post and do it you can delete your earlier post and do all sort of these things it's very easy now another essential thing is creating pages so when you have created home button if you want to create a new page your introduction page or your um, 
resources which you want to provide you can create a page here and then in the menu you will have a place where you can just put this link so you can as we have created a post you can create a page say for example resources page and then you can write uh, this page contains videos and other resources something like this right you can just go ahead and write the entire post and uh, apart from that you can do all sort of these things again as you did in your post you can also put attributes you have different templates yeah, full width or sidebar you want all these things can be done and whether you want to keep as a parent page or a subsidiary page but that is again not important right now and uh, you can just publish this right. so again you have option to publish it right now or uh, later on we are just publishing right now so let's go back here so now if you see there is this resource page which has got created so this is how guys you can build your blogs and different pages and uh, there are a lot of things you can do over here in the appearance to tweak your menu and all those things so you can just uh, see what is there currently in your menu so you have resources page which can be added in your menu item currently it's a home page you want to just add resources page just type add to menu and it will get it here now you have different options here you know you can uh, move this you can make it as a subheading so if you put it here it will come under home if you put it on the left side it will come as a separate tab so i'm just saving this to show you how it looks like so i'll just refresh this site again now you can see the resource pages here right and if i click on that resource this will take to the same page which we created yeah so this is how we learned how to do a menu stuff how to do resources you can even you know change these tags and all these things so you can just play around with uh, these things so this is a header menu this is where actually you can change the top portion yeah and it will show you if you want to add a new image if you have a log logo for your so suppose uh, i have uh, pictures and probably if i have some logo let me just see if i have some logo right so i'll just put this logo and it will ask me for the title and all sort of those things where did it go yeah so i am just selecting this and select I don't want to crop it probably I just want to keep it full let me see if it's working yeah so it came as a full banner but yeah you can just customize it and uh, just do a shorter image probably yeah so it's again you have to just play it around with this so it's not a, a big difficult you can also change your background image you can also do some home page settings yeah. what do you want to last post you want to keep or it is a static or all those kind of things now this is where I can change my this I can say Vivek's website something like this Yeah, Vivek Mashrani website or something like this. You can even again select a logo over here and uh, just upload it and this will be done. I'm just now again uh, refreshing the site to see how it looks. Yeah, so this is where Vivek Mashrani's website. You can keep changing the font and all sort of things, right? So I'm not uh, explaining all those things right now. This is again just matter of playing around just kind of uh, explore this entire theme and you'll able to know what all things you can do it right so these are the basic components i think and one more uh, important component is plugins yes so plugins you can do various sort of things these are basically your inbuilt uh, install plugins which you can see here 
the two plugins are already activated you can uh, activate all these things or search for new so say for example you want to add some login page right so you can just type login and you will see all sort of uh, plugins which are available so what we'll do is we'll just go to add new that is where you can explore newer plugins these are just your plugins right so these are uh, some of the featured plugins you can just go to popular also uh, populars are ones uh, which generally people use so you have contact form if you need a contact form you can use this uh, if you want to build an e-commerce site you can use this uh, SSL again security if you want you can get a uh, plugin with uh, which, which gets you SSL certificate and lot of such things you know there are like thousands of such uh, plugins available based on your need you can just google which is the best one and most of these are also free so say uh, this looks free uh, this is to improve your seo search engine optimization so i'm just installing this and this will then appear in my install plugins yeah let it install so guys i think uh, this is what i wanted to uh, you know just show you so i'm just activating this and uh, i think uh, this is the first step you have just created a basic version of your website the idea is just to play around and keep cleaning up and i think uh, you will be good all right so best of luck to building your own website and uh, happy to help just type your question in comment box if i'm free and i'm aware i'll try to help you guys all right so thank you very much for watching this video and see you again thanks for watching do share and subscribe the video channel 